in today's morning meds, we'll answer the question, should Christians have open marriages? So if you're ready, then let's go. and welcome back to Morning Meds where we meditate on God's word in order to tackle everyday issues that we face as Christians. And if you like what you see on Morning Meds, be sure to like, share, and subscribe so that we can make it through this life together with the help of God. Now, I do not believe that I need to just explain to too many people what an open marriage is. After Monique and Sydney, and T.I. and Tiny and Jada and Will, I'm pretty sure we all understand what an open marriage is. Open marriage or a consensual non-monogamous relationship is when a married couple decides to see other people. They consciously decide together to step outside of their marriage or to bring other people in to their marriage or bedroom. Mainstream open marriage statistics claim that one in five single Americans say that they have been or are currently participating in a consensual non-monogamous relationship. And the NCBI says that 4% of American couples are in what they consider to be a CMN relationship. So should Christians do it? Now listen, girl. You will have to block out the world and what they think about marriage. As a matter of fact, 29% of millennials don't even think that marriage is a priority to society. The world also believes that as long as the couple agrees to the parameters of the open relationship, that it is acceptable. Even some Christians have fallen into the deception of this lie. But the word of God is clear on the matter as it pertains to our relationship and our sex in our marriage. Hebrews 13 and 4 says the marriage bed should remain pure and untainted by fornication and adultery. Let's face it, any sex outside of your spouse is adultery, no matter if you agree upon it or not. Sex in marriage, sex period, is designed by God. So he makes the decisions for what is okay and what is not okay. The fact is that open marriages, entanglement, threesome, orgies, and swinging may be endorsed by mankind, but serve as an affront to the beauty that God placed within marital intercourse. Genesis 2 and 24 reminds us of the bond that marriage creates. And God calls marriage a good thing. No matter how you try to slice it, sex binds us spiritually, emotionally, and least of all, physically. No matter how callous you think you can become to sex outside of your marriage, no matter what limits you put together as a couple, if you are a Christian, sex outside of marriage is adultery and it is not God-pleasing. <laughs> So what if I have an open marriage? If you profess to be a Christian and believe in the blood of Jesus, you must stop. There is no other way to say it. Even if you've been deceived, even if you've been lied to, now that you know the truth, you must stop. If you feel that your sexual relationship with your spouse is fizzling or has fizzled out, the first thing you have to do is stop watching porn, Stop comparing yourselves to others and get in there and let your partner, spouse know what is going on inside of your head. You have to be honest. You have to pray that the Holy Spirit will give you the words to say so that no hurt will be caused and everyone will understand that this is in love and through unconditional growth in your marriage. God intends for us to be sexually free, but within the confines of our marriage. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for all that you've done, and we thank you for all that you are. Lord God, we ask you to bless every relationship, every person that is thinking or trying to get closer to you and be more like you. We ask you, God, to give them the courage to change in the name of Jesus. We know that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, Lord God, and we know that when we do things that are for you, that we may face persecution, but we know that when we go that way, that it is for you, and we know that you will be blessed. Your word says that when we seek you first, all of these things will be added and we know that you want us to be sexually free within our relationships, within our marriages, not just relationships, but our marriages. We know that you want us to be free. We know that you want us to enjoy each other and love each other and connect spiritually. And we ask you, God, to allow that to happen. We ask you, God, to... Ev- we ask you, God, to bless every marriage that comes together in this way, Lord. Bless every moment of intercourse. Let it be mind-blowing, mind-boggling, fireworks going off, everything happening, Lord, in the name of Jesus, because that's what you want to happen. The world has tried to take it and flip it and make it like we as Christians have no life and no nothing, and that is not true because you created it, you made it, you designed it. So we trust your word, we believe your will, and we need you in our lives, Lord God. We ask you, Lord, to bless us, strengthen our marriages, God, against every attack of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, amen.